So I'm sure you guys hear the word FOMO used a lot, especially within the makeup community, which is the fear of missing out or the feeling of missing out because you have either missed out on a product launch and they don't sell it anymore or a product is discontinued and you can no longer get your hands on it. So I thought it would be fun today if we did a video basically listing the five products that I feel serious FOMO over. Like these are products that I missed out on, wasn't able to get when they launched, they no longer sell, they've been discontinued, that sort of thing. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just stay tuned because we're getting into it right now. What's up you guys and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and if you love makeup and skincare products as much as we do, then definitely we would love to have you join our family. Hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, just double check and make sure that you have the notification bell reset to notify all videos because YouTube's doing its YouTube-y things again, you guys. All right, so let's talk about today's video because this was kind of a very last minute video idea that I had. And the reason being is because there's a couple of products that I wish that I had gotten my hands on, like when they launched or they have since been discontinued or companies lie about changing the formulas on or weren't completely honest when they changed the formulas on them and I wasn't able to stock up on the old formula and now the new ones just are not good. <laughs> so I figured I would share those products with you guys. I just thought it would be a fun idea and I would love to see other creators do that. So if you're another creator and you have a channel and you know this sounds like a fun idea to you, definitely Tag your all's favorite creators down below in the comment section because, again, I just think this would be a fun idea. And I love hearing about other people's favorite products and things like that. All right, so <laughs> the first product that I see, I mean, have serious FOMO over you guys. And I am still kicking myself in the butt for not picking this one up when it launched is the original Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. And I know you guys are looking at me like, what? <laughs> Did she just say that? Yes, I did. And hear me out. This is why. First off, it is iconic history. Like even if you got a bad lipstick, like let's just say that you got a bad lipstick, the casing itself, I mean, people are selling like the casing with no lipsticks in it for insane crazy prices on like eBay and Mercari and Poshmark. So just the casing itself is worth money because it, I mean, everybody knows about Lipstick Gate. Everybody knows about the original Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. None of us, I think, could ever forget about it. And I mean, people are going to be talking about it for years to come. I mean, they're still talking about it and it's been a couple of years since. So it's just, it's a piece of history. But on top of that, like the people that didn't get lipsticks that were messed up that actually got good ones like they still talk about it they still talk about how buttery they are and creamy they are and like I just I wish like that would have been my perfect lipstick to have you know a bullet lipstick buttery and creamy and the colors the nudes oh my gosh you guys the nudes like I wish I wish and the worst part is I had them in my cart the day of launch and I talked myself out of them I'm like, no, 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 I'll just get them when she, you know, restocks or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to some reviews and stuff. And they've never been restocked since. And now she's doing matte liquid lips, which I really, you know, like I do want to try her lip pencils, but I don't really care about the liquid lips as much. But yeah, I just, I really wish that I would have gotten my hands on the original bullet lipsticks. It just... It hurts my heart, you guys. <laughs> All right, the second one that I want to talk about is a palette, and it's by Melt Cosmetics. Now, we all know Melt Cosmetics. They are known for their limited edition, limited quantity palettes. So if there's ever a Melt Cosmetics palette that you see that they're releasing and they say it's limited edition, definitely snag it. Because the thing is, is you don't ever know what's going to be that palette with Melt. And this is the one thing that sucks. They're you know formula is very inconsistent like some palettes are amazing and other palettes are not so amazing and that's it, it kind of stinks with them but the one that I am talking about is the Amor Eterno eyeshadow palette in Muerta oh my gosh you guys this palette and what's bad about it is it released it was in Sephora I literally had the chance to grab it didn't grab it went back to grab it the next day 
and it was gone and it never got restocked afterwards. And it just makes my heart hurt because I've seen so many good reviews of this palette. The color story is absolutely gorgeous. Now they did release another palette in this collection, the Vita palette. So there was the Muerta and the Vita. And the Vita, it's pretty, but I'm not nearly as interested in that one. I just, the, the Muerta one just calls to me so much more and I am so sad that I missed out on that palette. Like if Mel Cosmetics could come back out with any limited edition palette, like restock it just one time, that would be the palette. And I think there's so many others out there that agree, that are sad that they didn't get their hands on that one. And yeah, I wish, 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 wish they would restock that palette just, just one time. But I honestly don't even think they could restock it with enough numbers for all the people that would want to get their hands on that palette. Cause it just got so many good reviews and yeah, I'm sad I missed out on that one. Now, the third product that I'm going to say, when I say this to you guys, I know, I know there are going to be some of you out there that know exactly what I'm talking about and there's going to be a tear come right down your face. <laughs> Soleil Tan de Chanel. I know, I know you guys, I know. I, I feel it here too. I really do. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Soleil Tan de Chanel was a bronzer. It was a cream bronzer in a pot that Chanel did and they had for years. And it was such a staple in so many makeup artists and MUAs and just makeup connoisseurs, makeup lovers. I mean, it was the perfect cream bronzer so buildable so beautiful you could use it as a contour it wasn't too gray it wasn't too orange it wasn't too red undertone it was just perfect and it looked perfect on so many skin types and tones and it was just i don't know why they decided to change the formula but they did. So their new version now has coconut oil in there and a lot of reviewers have tried it, compared it to the old version and it's just not the same. It breaks up on the skin. The coloring is not the same. There's just so many things wrong with it. And I did try the newer version. Yeah. And I'm so mad because I wish Chanel would have told everybody, hey, we're reformulating this. Just give you a heads up you know, pick it up while you can, or at least did one last full restock of it. But they didn't do that, you guys. They kind of did it a little sneakily and it kind of upset a lot of people because what they did is they waited till their current stock of Soleil and de Chanel was like almost, you know, completely depleted. And then they kind of sneaked the new version in there and they did put a little something up on their Instagram. But yeah, I felt like with an, an iconic product like that, you should have definitely let everybody know so that they had a chance to restock on it. And now you can only purchase it on Mercari or eBay and people want stupid amounts of money for it because again, it is such a beloved iconic product and it's a lot of people's staples. So it just, it really just stinks. Okay, so this next product is one that they also reformulated but I don't think Mac is being honest about it because Mac is saying that they did not reformulate this. The product, the blush is exactly the same and no changes have been made to it. But I can tell you right now, and I'm not the only one, I've heard other people, other influencers, Samantha Ravidal, I've heard her bring this up before. So the Mac Bake Blush in Warm Soul. You guys, this was the most beautiful blush. I mean, perfect neutral blush for any skin tone. It had this luminosity, this like vibrancy, like you could build it up, you could sheer it out, but it had like this sparkle to it, but without being sparkly, like there was no sparklies, you know, there was no sparkles in it and it wasn't quite a shimmer. Like it was just absolutely gorgeous. But their current one, if you look at it and you apply it on your cheek, it's sparkly now. Now it's sparkly. And I'm like, you all had to have changed this formula. And Max swears up and down, they did not change the formula. They didn't make any changes to it. It's exactly the same. The only thing they did was change the outer packaging. But I, along with many, many others, disagree. It's, it's terrible now. I do not like the new Warm Soul. I don't, you know, 
it's it's just it's sparkly you can clearly see a difference and I'll see if I can find an old picture of the original warm sole to put it up for you guys because again it was just such a gorgeous blush you guys and I don't think any blush to this day compares now I do again there's one by Melt Cosmetics that I do want to try that I think might give a similar like vibe to it but it's not a baked blush it's a cream blush I'm not as big a fan of cream blushes as I was of that one and you know mine shattered and I, I wish again that I would have known that they were going to change the packaging because I would have kept it tried to repress it something but I'm like oh I'll just buy another one yeah no 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 the the new one it's just it's bad you guys all right the last product you guys have heard me talk about this one a hundred times and I still have the bottle right here but it is empty sadly it is so very empty there is not a drop left in this thing. So this is my favorite, all time favorite perfume by Victoria's Secret in Love Pink. Now, the only good news is you can still purchase this kind of on like Amazon and stuff like that. Again, it is overpriced people or, you know, I mean, that's what they do. They buy the last versions and then they resell it at a higher price you know, it's, it's price gouging. We know it. They, all of these products that are being resold currently because you can't buy them anywhere else. The prices are extremely gouged on quite a few of these, like the Melt Cosmetics palette. That palette is going for $600 right now, you guys. So I will say this perfume isn't quite that bad, but yeah, it just hurts my soul. And I know more than likely there's a lot of you guys out there who probably have your favorite scents or perfumes that they no longer make anymore. So I did just purchase the uh, one by Replica. Well, I purchased the travel size of it because it's expensive. The travel size is like $30. The full bottle is like $135. But I do really like that one, but it's not quite the same. I it They actually smell completely different. But I, I can like tolerate that one and use it because I'm very picky when it comes to my scents but this one was like my signature scent for years and I'm so sad that they quit making it and Victoria's Secret they are really good for that you guys I know a friend of mine there's one that they also made that she loved that they quit making so they're really really good for that all right so let me know down below what are some products that you're feeling some FOMO over or products maybe that they discontinue that they no longer make that you wish they still made because I'm sure there's a lot of them but these are like the five that stand out to me and I literally have have the searches saved on my eBay <laughs> because I'm just like waiting for somebody to not price gouge which probably isn't ever gonna happen but you know you never know just in case something may you know miracles can happen right so anyways again if you are a creator or you have your own YouTube or makeup channel or MUA I would love to hear your all's products that you feel extreme FOMO over because I just I think it would be a really fun video idea for everybody to do and everybody's looking for new and fun and innovative content and I just thought this was a fun idea so until next time you guys see ya